Welcome back, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals out there for another reaction video here on my channel, Sam and Seas. And now today, we're starting off hot. We're starting off fresh. We're starting off something new with Scout Pilgrim Takes Off. That's the new Scout Pilgrim show on Netflix that's piggybacking off the movie, which is not going to be more a follow-up of the movie or anything like that. They did get the, almost all of the original actors from the show to voice the characters in this animated, animated anime retelling of the Scott Pilgrim story. Now, I really didn't read much of the comics back in the day. I know a lot of people have. They absolutely love those comics. I am, absolutely love the movie that came out. It's not a lot of everybody's favorites, but it's one of my personal favorites, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, directed by Edgar Wright, who is an executive producer on this show, so that gives me a little hope for it. I can't wait to see it. I hope you guys enjoy watching it with me throughout the series. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of Scott Pilgrim. Are you a big fan of it from the comics throughout any form of media? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to follow me on my social, all my handles in the description for you as well. And always and forevermore, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals out there, hit like, hit subscribe to my channel, Sam and Seas, for more fun videos like this. And with all that being said, let's get into it. Scott Pilgrim's precious little life. He, he's such a sweet boy. He, he should never be hurt. Okay. I am loving the video game feel this show brings off. It's amazing. It's so retro. It's so its own thing. Okay, so it's a little opening title before the show. Nice. Very anime. Very anime. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm loving the music so far. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Michael Sarah should probably do a lot more voice acting because he has that voice, has that tone, that pitch. Loving the animation. I haven't even seen a single thing of the show. I'm loving the animation. Mm hmm. All right, Kendra, Brie Larson. I love, I love they brought pretty much everyone from the movie into the show. That's awesome. I love that. Who gave her me? Yeah. Oh wow. Could you at least get your own stuff? I have stuff. You do not have stuff. Yeah, that's all his. That's all his. The only thing that's there is a poster and clothes. Some of my. I don't have to take this guff from you. <laughs> You're right. You know. So leave. Oh, wow. You just take it right away with that asking. Thank you anyway. Oh, Scott, you little scamp. Toronto, Canada. Not too long ago. God, the voiceover. Come on now. That makes it even more awesome. I love voiceovers. The voice, uh, voiceover, voice of God sort of thing. I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm loving the rock and roll kind of feel. Juice, some cola. <sighs> oh, is he seeing her? Ramona Flowers. There she is. He found her. She might be. Hey, who knows? It might be all an illusion. You don't know what you're drinking, bud. It's messing with your head. She might even be there. No, she's there. Hey. Hi. 
the detail in the sound. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. You probably know this, but in the early 90s, there were two different Sonic cartoons airing at the same time. One was dark and dramatic, the other was a hilarious comedy about chili dogs. And the same guy played Sonic in both shows. Isn't that wild? The same guy played two different versions of the same guy? Maybe you didn't watch cartoons, or, or you're not into chili dogs. <laughs> wow. They're okay. I mostly watched older stuff when I was a kid. The yeah, Columbo reruns. Reruns, cool. Wow, C Columbo reruns, okay. Are you real? Did you just ask me if I was real? Uh, no, I was talking about <laughs> what, what a way to break the ice. Let's just talk Sonic the Hedgehog, all right? What a, that's a wow, why are you here? ballsy way to break the ice. There were no plus oh, one. Julie. Everyone here is someone I invited mm. personally. My parties are curated. So, Damn, she's a little. Uh, do you know this one girl with hair like this? Ramona Flowers. Ramona. She's from New York City. The Big Apple. She moved here after a bad breakup. She's single. Got a job delivering DVDs for Netflix. DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to synergize! Synergy, baby. It makes it all work. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks, Julie. Bye. Nah. It's like three miles in fifteen seconds. Hmm. I don't know what that is in kilometers. Space subways. Totally. I get it. Yeah. Anyway, I get it too. I don't time. get it. You want to go on a date with me? It doesn't have to be a date. It could be a low-key team-up. Canada and America joining forces. You're new in town. I'm old in town. What do you think? <laughs> okay, that's, that's one way to break the ice. Nice. Scott Pilgrim. Got the Riz. Why are you just standing there? Dude, I'm waiting on you. Getting nice out, eh? I didn't really need the park. Hey. What's with the X, anyway? Is it for X-Men? Oh, this? Well, obviously one of us went to Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. And God, he's such a nerd. I love it. Is that a Sonic thing? Is that a Sonic? Sonic? No, it isn't. <laughs> so, why'd you move to Toronto? Just so you could go to Julie's parties? <laughs> no. Well, I got the job delivering DVDs for Netflix and get in on... <laughs> I'll make us some tea. Sleepy time tea. Wow. You look like you're dying. Let me get you a blanket. What a nice person she is. You know, taking care of him, giving him some hot tea. Ramona Flowers, it's okay and cool in my books anytime. Good person, good people, good people. And she's been a while getting that blanket. Oh. Dude, oh. Ah, sorry, I'm just cold. Oh, hello. Innocent. There you go. <laughs> Innocent. You walked in on her. Come on, boy. Does this help? Oh, I'm cold too. Oh. Oh, we're moving fast. Oh, okay. Hey, we're speeding things up here. We're not taking anything slow. Sparks are flying. Were you, were you just going to bring the blanket from your bed? I guess. Maybe we could both get under it while it's on the mm. bed. You could. We're both cold. Pretty smooth there, Scott. Not gonna lie. I, I'm not sure if I'm ready. <sighs> I changed my mind. From what? To what? I don't want to have sex with you, Pilgrim. Not right now. Mm. That's okay. That's cool. I'm not gonna send you home in a snowstorm or anything. You can sleep in my bed. And I reserve the right to change my mind about the sex later. Uh, I, that is fair. They got the right to change. I'll relish this victory. Ramona's new guy's gonna wish he was never born. Because his brutal death is inevitable. Because of me. Because I'm gonna kill him. Right, of course. Right, yeah, obviously. That's what you meant. Pilgrim enjoys the final few days of his precious little 
life. <laughs> yeah, I say it's a little creepy. You guys are all, you know, spying on their lives and all that. But hey, you know, evil exes. What are they going to do? What time is it? Not quite at 8 a.m. I have to work, so you have to leave. Mm. That's fair. Yeah. Hey, can this not be a one-night stand? For one thing, I'm not even sure if it would count. Hmm? I'll consider it. She's a very consideration per considerate person. And what did you have in mind? Um, oh, my band has a show tonight at the Rocket, 9 p.m. You have a band? Yeah, we're terrible. Please come. Um, yeah, okay. 9 p.m. Blah, blah, something about fighting. Uh oh. League of Evil Exes. More like a League of Boring. Yeah, I feel that's going to come back around later on. Unfortunately, yes. Uh oh. Hey, knives. Have you met Stacy? Wow. I've heard so much about you. Oh, Scott's Dad sister. I have 16 kinds of come to see Stacy. She is too overly peppy. Boy. What a sweetheart. Sure seems like nobody delivered crushing news to you today. Crushing? Like a bad kind of crushing? Oh, you poor thing. You're better than him. Just know that, okay? Better than who? Uh-oh. Hmm? <gasps> Uh-oh, uh Scott, what are you gonna do? You better make up your mind now, buddy. I, I have to go. Ah, come on. Come on, Scott. Why are you stressing, Scott? Who's stressing? Steven's stressing. Of course I'm stressing. <laughs> Opening band pulled out. They flaked. Mm. Crash and the boys flaked? Oh. I heard they were changing it to just crash and losing the boys. I got a bad feeling about that little robot in the crowd. Oh, Is that just me? This is a cold classic car crash sex film shot right here in Toronto. I didn't know you were. Oh, wow. They're literally almost right next to each other. <sighs> Crash, boys. Either way, they probably cancel because they think we suck. We probably do. That's not funny, Kim. If we suck, then the audience won't like us. They'll think we suck. Maybe we should cancel the show. Hey, there's only one way to find out if we suck, and that's by playing. That is... Oh, damn. They play so hard, they blow it up. Nope. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bill that's the evil bad guy. Mmm, reversal. Here we go. Who are you exactly and why are we fighting? Uh, aren't you Scott Pilgrim? Depends who's asking. That is the thing, yeah. Matthew Patel, Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. Uh, cool. And you're here because... Didn't you read my letter? Kind of. <laughs> I had delivered it during a blizzard. Oh, he hand delivered it. Am wow. What it said exactly? Okay. Ah. It said Ramona Flowers has seven evil exes, each more powerful than the last. Mm -hmm. All of you must defeat in order to date. Evil exes. It was a very detailed letter. I'm sure it was. He did a lot of work. Yeah, um, I heard about it. I sort of thought it was a joke. And you really dated this guy? Yeah, in middle school. Oh, middle school. It was football season, and for some reason, all the little jocks wanted me. Matthew Patel was the only non-white, non-jock boy in school. <laughs> Maybe the only one from miles around. So, joined forces and took them all out. Nothing mm. could beat Matthew's mystical powers combined with my brute strength. We only kissed once, and we were quits after something like a week and a half. He didn't even get truly evil until high school, and by that time he lived far, far away. Mystical powers? Unfair! Oh, a little bit unfair, yeah. Uh, war? I, I think it's war. Time to 
Matt Patel versus Scott Pilgrim. Round one. Fight. <laughs> I'm, okay, I love the video game. It, it makes it so cool. It makes it retro. I love it. It's amazing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Round one. Duck him. Oh, damn, they beat him already? Is it, is it KO? Is it Kevin Owens? What's going on? What's happening? I won. I won. Why is he turning to coins? Oh, come on. We're gonna we're gonna drag this along. Okay, I get it. I get it. Well, that was the first episode of Scott Pilgrim, and you know, again, it does a lot of good things it did from the movies. It's been a while since I saw the movie too, so bear with me on it. Just getting re reacquainted with the show, it's gonna be fun to do. Again, I love the animation. The voice acting alone is amazing. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait for you guys to join me on this fun ride. It's gonna be a blast. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed episode one, let me know. If you guys wanna see more reaction, head over to my channel, Sam Macias. Make sure you like and subscribe. And with all that being said, until next time, Bye!